press, we're starting with that's our warm up. It is heavy leg day, and I am still suffering from this week's heavy leg day. So forgive me for starting with only two plates. But 15 reps, first thing we're thinking about, feet high and wide. Before I even push off, my knees are in place. My baby toe is down. Push, open, grab on those handles. Keep the knees open and wide, okay? Make sure when you go down, the knees are out, 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 out. When I come up, my knees are still out, 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 out. Okay, so we've got 15 of those. Moving on to step ups. Baby toe down, chest up. And I'm gonna go all the way up and down. If you need to tap, that's okay. But I do prefer a knee balance, just so that you can tell me and yourself that you have control of that weight. I have four risers for video purposes. I would like to see five or six. So here's the uh, give and take. If you wanna go up in weight, feel free to drop down to five risers. If you are staying at what you know to be your maximum weight, then you're gonna do the six risers. Okay, so let's be clear. Every single set, we're going up, 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 correct? But if you decide that you're gonna do the same thing you did last month, please give me six risers instead of five. If you want to go up in weight this month, then maybe we can compromise and you can use five risers. Squats and walking lunges. For your warm-up round, make sure that you have no weight on this bar, okay? Now remember that there are rings on this bar to indicate where you are exactly balanced out with your weight because you will be putting weight on. If you have your hands askew, remember it is going to pull on your back. Very important, I like to go pinky, pinky on those lines, head goes under, stand up, back up, place those feet. First thing I'm going to do is externally rotate my femurs, make sure that I'm not locking, but I'm trying to get as much thigh gap as possible. Butt out, all the way down, all the way up. Okay, when I place it down, walk, 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 and then do not look side to side with the bar. There's no need to look side to side. Walk, walk, walk. This bar will run into these poles, and when it does so, bend your knees and place it on the clips, okay? So make sure that you do not turn side to side, especially when it does get heavier. All right, after that we've got Walking lunges. Right, 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 right. Left, 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 left. With our lunges, remember our belly does not touch our thigh. We're gonna go all the way up for right, 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 10, and then left, 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 10. On our lunge, I'm gonna show you from the side. It's not here, but here. All right, keep that chest lifted, hips under the rib cage. Add weight, both sides. Use the safety clips, then you go back to your squats for 12. Get heavier weights for your dumbbells, and you have 10 and 10. 10, heavier weight again. Bigger dumbbells, 10 and 10. Finish with even heavier barbell weight, eight reps. Everyone's favorite, deadlifts and reverse lunges. So before you even grab onto that bar, I want you to be focused on where your hand placement is. We've been talking about that a lot. I'm gonna keep on talking about it. Dead center. There's these little dots that tell you where dead center is. And you're gonna line up the middle of your hand with that. If your hand's too far forward, the barbell's gonna go backwards. If it's too far back, it's gonna roll forward, okay? So my hands are dead center. That's number one. Now talk about foot placement. Under those hips, I like to be slightly toed out, not that much. Now, my knees are out, abs tight, eyes on the ground, and up we go. Up. My butt goes out first. Butt out, down. 
Butt comes in, last. Butt goes out first, comes in, last. Okay? So we have 12 of those. Then we go into reverse lunges. Before you even do the reverse lunge, make sure the bar is set up for your appropriate height. Now, even as little as I am, do you see how high this is? So when I come over and I see you with the barbell all the way over here, bending over to replace it, I think, no wonder why their back hurts. It has nothing to do with the workout. Okay, so I'm looking at my pinky on the line, pinky on the line, and my knees under, stand up, walking backwards, 90 degree angle with those knees. This time, remember I said earlier, butt out, butt out. I'm keeping my butt underneath my rib cage. We have 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other. Walk forward, bend those knees and you're done. It's that simple. So 12 is our starting number there. And I did 10 and 10, no weight on my starting set here. Go up in tiny increments, one and a quarter, two and a half on this. Over there, eh, I could probably do about five, and then smaller and smaller as we go. But make sure you remember, you do have your options. They don't have to be big jumps. 